Thus was the balance kept. The world could live, live here. A zealot power pushed the ruthless skulls. A faith not theirs, but it's cursed as heresy. They questioned, captive, tortured, burned, or smoked, and forced the soul to abandon the right. Or die. Soul must abandon the right, or must die. They questioned. Question, I am. Question, cap, I am. Tear, torch, I am. Burn, I am. Last is a anapist. So we got I am, I am, I am. They questioned. I am, I am, I am, I am. Last is a anapist. And for the soul to abandon right. Or die. Forget about yourself. Mm -hmm. Amid her clashing creeds and warring sects, religion, religion, sat upon a blood-stained throne. So religion is a she. Religion is a she. Clashing creeds. Yeah. Well, that is what happens. All the creeds are clashing. Even in a religion. It's in your own religion, same religion, there are Christian creeds, you see, clashing and warring sects. Religion sat upon blood stained throne, blood stained throne. The medieval Christianity, Christianity is a blood stained throne. Islam, the conquest of the world, with the sword in hand, with the sword in hand, that is a blood stained throne. A hundred tyrannies oppressed and slew and founded unity upon fraud and force. Only what seemed was prized as real there. The ideal was a cynic, ridicule, but yeah, will see what happen if you go in clumsy people and start noble things, high things, beautiful things, all that thing. They will make a Ridicule, ridicule you completely, you see, it happened. Hooted with a crowd, mocked by enlightened wits. Mocked by enlightened wits. Well, even the wise men will talk and we mock at you. Hooted with a crowd, mocked by enlightened wits. This is exactly what happened on Christ's journey, carrying the cross. Hooted with a crowd. And mocked by enlightened crowd. You were talking of this and this. Now you are, this is what people are seeing of that thing. This is a complete description of the crucifixion line. Who tailed by the crowd, mocked by the enlightened. Spiritual mocking, spiritual seeking, wandered, outcasted, outcasted, outcast, C A S T E. It is outcasted. Past participle, outcast, thrown out completely. Spiritual seeking was outcasted. Very unusual kind of a phrase here, outcasted. Spiritual, spiritual things were outcasted, were thrown out completely, see. A dreamer self-deceiving web of thought or mad camera deem a hypocrite's fake, his passionate instinct trained through minds obscure, lost in the circuits of the ignorance. Well, this is an elaboration of the same thing, you see. A lie was there, the truth, and truth a lie. A lie, absolutely monosyllable we cry. A lie was there, the truth, and truth a lie. Perfectly iambic line. A lie was there, the truth, and truth a lie. At the same time, the monosyllabic line has a kind of a length in this one. You see, it's a very unusually long line. A lie was there, the truth, and truth a lie. It kind of comes with a hammering stroke with you, see, on that thing. A lie was there, the truth, and truth a lie. 
very direct description very powerful direct person no ambiguity of saying the wish list now this reminds us of what we said what we saw last time about macbeth which is three which is in the opening scene of macbeth what we saw no what do what what do the speeches say they say fair is foul and foul is fair fair is foul and foul is fair exactly same a lie or there the truth and truth the lie complete echo of macbeth's line you see but see the difference between the style and the content and the rhythm and the kind of an assuring certitude which is there in the epic line a lie but there the truth and the lie it doesn't falsify anything at all whereas you got fair is foul and foul is fair it shows mischief that phrase that line from shakespeare is full of mischief you don't see mischief here a lie was there the truth and truth the lie you don't see mischief in this line see whereas in shakespeare's line you see obviously kind of a clear mischief being played there see in this line there is no mischief at all in other words there is a kind of redeeming possibility of this situation out of this situation a lie was there the truth and truth the lie maybe it is a fact today but then there is a possibility of redemption you can get out of it and reverse the whole thing the truth becomes truth that there is the truth is truth and truth is truth there is no lie at all that redemption is possible here in a line like this there is a redeeming feature in the whole evocation now this whole phrase a lie was there the truth and truth the lie fair is foul and foul is fair you don't have that redemption at all in fact the whole of macbeth is full like that completely there is no redeeming feature at all in macbeth completely it means that here you have got a redeeming possibility although it may look ugly bad repulsive what not what not no no it's not like that there are something better things also available here. a lie was there the truth and truth the lie it has a positive tone i will say in that sense although it is giving a very devastating kind of a picture but behind it there is a possibility of something very beautiful something truthful happening you see here was the traveler of the upward way therefore the traveler of the upward way ashwapati is climbing the ladder upward way for daring his for daring his kingdom wind heavenly road upward way for daring hell's kingdom wind the heavenly road the heavenly road winds daringly hell's kingdoms the sense here is the heavenly road winds daringly hell's kingdoms daring it dares hell's kingdoms and winds the heavenly road that is what the line means you see very powerful construction for daring i am hailing kingdom i will say first foot is an am second foot is an am third foot kingdom winds is an amphibrach sorry critic long short long kingdoms when wind the hail i am live last foot is an anapest for daring hell's kingdom wind the heavenly road pause or pass slowly to that perilous space yeah this is what he must do the traveler on the upward way he must pass and slowly through that perilous space a prayer upon his lips and a great name that is the only safety when you are going through that kind of a region safety is prayer upon your lip and the great name chanting the name constantly what kind of prayer what kind of prayer huh <laughs> yeah 
Lord, Lord, thou alone art, thou alone art, thou alone art, thou alone art. That's the only kind of prayer. You are there alone. Nothing else. I don't need any prayer. I am not going to ask you, save me, protect me. No, not that. Lord, 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 you alone, you alone, you alone. That's the name. That's the power of the name. Vishnu. You chant the name of Vishnu constantly. Vishnu. Even in the darkest part, if you go, chant the name. If you remember the name of Vishnu, finish. Absolutely. Chant the name. See, prayer upon his lips. And the great name, Lord Vishnu. Actually, we have seen earlier. Now, this is this is passing to the hell. What is useful to pass safely through hell is a prayer and the name. We have seen earlier in the case of Satyavan. He is dying. He is on the deathbed. Sorry, he is, he, is, he is in the lap of Savitri. And he is about to die. And he says, Lean down, my soul, kiss me. My soul, while I die. Lean down, my soul, oh, and kiss me while I die. And before that, he says, Savitri, Savitri, oh, Savitri. Lean down my soul and kiss me while I die. So for him, who is going to say, what is that name, that great name for him is Savitri. For Satyavan, that great name is Savitri. Lean down my soul while I die. Savitri, Savitri, oh Savitri. Now, the name Savitri is entirely in the context of death. In the context of death. He is seeing death standing there and who can save him from death? Only Savitri, that name alone, nobody else, not even Vishnu. <laughs> Savitri alone. Whereas here, great name, the name of the Lord is while you are passing like a traveler through a certain region. It is not that you are meeting and seeing death in front of you. You are passing through a certain region and you want to kind of a protection with you. It is for that purpose you have got the name here, you see. Name. Vishnu. That is the name, you see. 64.43 Arousing consciousness in things inert he imposed upon dark atom and dumb mass the diamond script of the imperishable. He, of course, stands for Ashwapati here. Imperishable. Inscribed on the dim heart of fallen thing, a pian song of the free infinite. And the name, foundation of eternity. So what is name? Name is foundation of eternity. The great name is the foundation of eternity. And it is that he is inscribing on matter, on base. Diamond script is writing on that kind of a thing. So it is that foundation of eternity. It is that which you have to call, call back. A prayer upon his lips and great name. Foundation of eternity. So eternity itself is founded on the name. Eternity itself is founded on the name, you see. And then we have got 106.6. I'm sorry, 106.8. Narrow is coming down from paradise visiting Ashwapati's palace, Madhra. He sang the name of Vishnu and the birth and joy and passion of the mystic world. 
and how the stars were made and life began and a mutation stir with top of his soul that is vishnu's creation for the creation so i think the other one foundation of eternity is more appropriate in our context whereas this is something like a passage vishnu's name is for an evolutionary growth vishnu's name is for an evolutionary growth whereas foundation of eternity is something absolutely basic going down into the inconscience here must traveler here must the traveler of the upward way upward way for daring hell's kingdom wind the heavenly road pass or pass slowly through perilous flame a prayer upon his lips and a great name so you see with that kind of a frightening picture which you had he will error religion all those things you have started seeing now the redeeming part of it you see in service he probed not all discernments gain their point he might stumble into falsities endless net now this is the saving clause who can say you prayer and the name how do you say that unless you have got discernment you should know the discernment that something is going to be wrong with me something is going to be frightening something is going to be dangerous for me you have to have that discernment and at that moment of time you should be able to remember the name you should be able to remember the prayer that alertness has to be there that discernment has to be there you see now the discernment here is important see i mean he is not a passive traveler he is quite alert to all the things around him the entire situation he is alert to that and there has to be no this yes this he should be able to discern that thing immediately like that you see discernment is a very crucial thing here discernment in sanskrit is dakshina you have to be daksha daksha attentive you have to be attentive all the while although there are evil forces every kind of a thing there you have to be attentive all the while if he probe not all discernment keen spear point he my you had you are probing with what with discernment spear point fixing discernment is a spear and you are probing each and every situation with that spear point if you don't do that kind of a thing you might stumble into falsities and this net <laughs> so you have to have the spear of discernment you the spear of discernment point to probe probes here there. is this here is this here like that everywhere you are to do very picturesque picture see he probed not all discernment gain point he might stumble into falsities endless net now how does one get that discernment <laughs> yes all right you have to have discernment you can use this discernment is a spear you can use the spear and point each and everything this or that otherwise stumble and go away but how do you get that discernment now it is only by spiritual will spiritual power by some kind of a tapasya that you can acquire that discernment by some kind of yoga yoga tapasya it is by that you can acquire that spiritual quality or discernment or discernment it is not come just like that you see you have to develop that power within you that occult element has to come within you that you should be really spiritually great to establish that discernment within you once you have got that discernment you will to know what is right or wrong what should be done or what should not be done you immediately can immediately fix up straight away with a spiritual assumption. you don't have to argue at all this way or that way at all you don't have to feel you don't have to be attached with anything you can immediately with the discernment say yes 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 this should be done this should not be done like that is immediately so it is by some kind of an intense spiritual tapasya that that discernment can be 
nourished can be made grow also expand also in every way discernment but that is a very difficult job yogic tapasya to develop that kind of a discernment to make a distinction between evil and good is not an easy job to make a distinction between evil which is absolutely at the bottom of the thing and good there you cannot make it for us a small little creatures like us the only safety for us is our psychic awakening go by the psychic being prompting for us it is not discernment of that kind or spiritual tapasya but psychic perception of things immediately the psychic should come forward and say this is good or this is bad you cannot taste it you feel it with the psychic being you figure it out you hear different kind of sound yes 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 this should be done like that the psychic being will catch and if you are really firm yourself if you are really given to your psychic being promptings all the while you are safe you are safe psychic being will tell you whether you should go in this lane or in that lane or not whether you are going down or not psychic being will tell you immediately you see whether you are wandering in the valley of wandering gleam is what you have got intermediate zone as it called if you are wandering the psychic being will tell you immediately so for us for small little creatures the gift of psychic being is absolutely beautiful most precious kind of a gift and we had to go only by the promptings of the psychic being spiritual discernment is a great thing for great tapasvis for great yogis over his shoulder often he must look back like one that is what it comes with discernment you are looking is somebody good or bad is coming in front of back, back you see over his shoulder often he must look like one who feels on his back, neck an enemy's breath else stealing up behind the trees and his blow might prostrate cast and pin to unholy soil pierce through his so basically for us the only thing is develop the psychic perception discernment by yogic power if you are given to yogic spiritual tapasya of course wonderful what is a sanskrit for discernment ha huh? sanskrit word for discernment discernment be able to make a distinction no sanskrit 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 dakshina daksha 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 huh? dakshina uh, viveka viveka no see beyond the mind the first spiritual plane is dakshanya dakshina okay. discernment then mm-hmm. comes higher mind illumined mind intuition over mind they start climbing up later on so that is the spiritual hierarchy the spiritual hierarchy begins with discernment with discernment dakshana so you have got in the sanskrit names are dakshina ivela saraswati oh, yes. mahati mahi mahi dakshina ivela saraswati mahi these are the spiritual planes they are the vedic planes vedic descriptions of these very rigveda speaks of these goddesses dakshina ivela saraswati mahi the higher and higher levels of awareness and consciousness and cognition is here. the in shivanthu's nomenclature it is higher mind illumined mind intuition over mind inspiration over mind in shivanthu nomenclature is here. so that discernment is a spiritual quality whereas the psychic is the inner quality so i think the for us the safer thing is uh, the psychic part what about viveka 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 could be mental could be could be mental oh mental yeah it is also yeah. discrimination yeah. viveka could be mental more more 
see viveka and vijnana they are different viveka could be kind of analytical kind of analytical analytical sabha 